serious, redditors who have a stepfather mother younger than them. What's your story? The story is simply that my father is an irresponsible creep. It was just the two of us when I was growing up. But he made it clear he was resentful having to take care of me. He's in his 60s. I'm 34. My older half sister turns 40 in a few days. My youngest half brother just turned 2. I'm sure I have siblings I don't even know about. His current wife is maybe 30 and by far the oldest woman he's ever been with. He cheated on his last wife with her. His last wife was 19 when they met, I was 17. But that was better than his previous girlfriend before that. Who was a few months younger than me. And I was 17. I always make sure that his baby mamas know that I'll always be there for them and their kids when he leaves. Because he's going to leave. It's interesting watching how surprised they are when he does. Okay. So my dad loves controlling people. He was really abusive to me growing up. I'm sure if you need any stories. Just dig through my history. He used to always go on about wanting a Chinese wife because she'd be really grateful and meek enough towards him that he wouldn't get any arguments or independent thought from her unlike an American English wife. Well not long after declaring the above. He met and married a 21 year old Chinese woman. He's late 50s. I was 23 at the time. The way he treats her in public is revolting. He is so condescending and talks real slow and firm like someone would to a toddler. He tells her off and calls her names. It was so sad to see. I don't know for sure but she may have left him as. When I was last in contact with him. He never brought her with him or spoke about her. I found out my dad died because he stroked out while in a motel with someone younger than me. This was, to our knowledge, the third time he cheated in a long term relationship. And he was already married to someone 20 years younger than him. None of this really affected me because I knew he was a piece of sheet for years so I guess it's not really a great answer to this thread but it's still kind of amazing. Dad is a serial mana gamer? He has been married 4 times. This last wife is 5 years younger than me. She is 25. My dad is 52. She gave birth to my brother last year which resulted in an interesting conversation with my kids. Me showing my 6 and 5 year olds a picture of their new uncle. Me. Look guys this is your new uncle isn't he cute. Kids, that's not an uncle that's a baby. Caps are accurate. SMH. She is young as hell and acts like it and my dad is hella gross for dating a girl younger than his daughter. But it's his life. It makes for weird genealogy talks with others but that's all. My mother's husband is 2 years younger than my husband. My husband is 7 years older than me. So my mom's guy isn't younger than me but it still is a weird dynamic. My mom jokes that I always dated older and she always dated younger so it was bound to happen. We actually made a pact when I was 20 that I wouldn't date anyone older than her and she promised she wouldn't date anyone younger than me. We both had some close calls but held true to the pact. The only really weird thing is watching our husbands interact. They are serious best friends whenever there is a family get together. If we can't find one we look for the other. There isn't a cookout or birthday party where they decide to give each other piggyback rides or cake eating contest or something silly and fun. My favorite thing is when my husband yells you aren't my real dad. You can't tell me what to do. Double quote. They are goofballs. I'm 27 and my stepmom is 26. My dad, 54, brought her over from the Philippines and they've been married for almost 2 years now. It was definitely different at first. Though I didn't have much room to talk considering I've known a couple older gentlemen in a very biblical sense. I was most worried about my dad getting hurt or taken advantage of. They just didn't seem to have much in common other than they both like to watch 90 Day Fian K. Now that the newness has worn off I can see my dad was very lonely and needed companionship. My auntie mama is a lovely young woman who grew up on a poor island with about 15 families on it. She laughs when people call it paradise because she says it's very hot and there is nothing to do. Electricity there is only from 5pm to 10pm. So I see their marriage as more of an arrangement to better both their situations. 
They may not be madly in love but I can tell they care for each other. And now that it's been about 2 years I can say with confidence I get along better with her than my old man. So my brother-in-law is 30. And his wife is 55. She has 7 children from 4 previous marriages relationships. 3 of her 7 are over 30 years old. The look on their faces when they came my brother-in-law at the wedding was something to behold. Her youngest is 10 and lives with his father. The other 6 are 18 plus and live on their own. At least 2 are also married. After my mom and her 2 sisters had graduated from high school my grandparents got divorced. A few years later my grandpa married one of my aunt's friends from high school. According to my mom. It was a real big deal that had a lot of people talking and pissed off. My aunts all hated her instantly. And one of them even did the all put sugar in the gas tank thing. Oddly enough as it may seem. My grandpa is still married to her. And my step grandma is a pretty cool person. Everyone seems to get along now. Unfortunately my grandpa has dementia pretty bad right now. And my step grandma is pretty diligent about caring for him so I have a lot of respect for her. My grandpa doesn't even know who she is anymore. It's been an interesting story I suppose. Edit. Words. My dad is married to a 25 years old waitress. I am 26. When I was 18 stroke 19. Me and my family used to go to the place she waited at and every time I would silently pray we were going to seated in her section. Because I had a huge crush. My dad would always be a dad and drop some dad jokes. Waitress style. I always thought she was laughing at these jokes to be polite. Turns out she thought they were genuinely funny. They got together 5 years ago. He still goes to the same place to eat. And she's still his waitress. The jokes are worse now though. Edit. Yes my mom was a part of the the family that went. My parents marriage was already falling to pieces. They split soon after I turned 18. But tried a few times to work things out. My dad. My mom and my. Now. Stepmom all worked at Pizza Hut together. My stepmom also lived across the street from us. I was 8. My mom and dad split up. My dad slept with my stepmom. Knocked her up. Got back with my mom 6 months later and knocked her up. Then went back to my stepmom. This is why I have a half sister who is 6 months older than my full brother. My dad married a woman 7 years younger than I am. They have a 35 plus age difference. Their daughter is now 2 years older than my son. They live in the country where I was born and I've only met her 2 ex. But my sister and I support them financially. He abandoned us when my sister and I were 10 and 12. And had another set of children with another woman then. I am very wistful when I see dads being good to their daughters. My mom is amazing though. And my son and I are super close. So all things considered I'm still better off than most. For about a year when I was 18 and my sister was 20. My 50 year old uncle started dating a 19 year old. I will never forget when she was driving me and my cousins to a concert and she treated all of us including me like children. I at one point had to say I've dated women older than you. Please stop referring to me as a child. My step grandmother is a 50 year old biker chick. Covered in tattoos. 7 years younger than my mother. My grandmother committed suicide in 2009. Leaving my socially inept and cantankerous grandfather behind. He moved to a retirement community. Where he's gotten in some trouble for shooting a fawn from his front porch with a shotgun. A few years after my grandmother's death. He started proposing marriage to his housekeeper. He didn't want her to live with him. Just wanted to pass on his pension from working in the police department. Only a spouse could inherit it. Not children. It took her many years. But eventually she accepted. No wedding. They're not really together, but now my step grandmother's younger than my mother. Kind of related. My younger sister had a concert date set up with a guy but he called and said last second that he set up other plans. It's a small town and his dad just happened to be at the same bar as my sister and she invited his dad instead. It's been almost 2 years and they have a baby together now. So he flaked on her. And she made him her stepson. 
How about similar age? Dad married a woman 30 years younger than him. She was barely 2 years older than my big sister. He had younger girlfriends ever since his divorce. So I never really thought it out of the ordinary. She had met him about 7 years previously when he visited her country. When they met up again. She was recently widowed from another American. When dad married her. Immigration was all over them. Dad was suspiciously mute about the entire situation. I suspect she married the other guy to get citizen status and then he up and died on her leaving her status precarious. It took $1000 and lawyer fees to get them to leave them alone. We really did not think the marriage would last. It has been 25 years. He is 86 while she is 55. He is frail. With asthma. Diabetes. COPD and a heart condition. She is resentful. Catty and works all the time. You know that saying you made your bed. Now line it. That is how I feel. Does it count if I knew someone who purposely dated younger girls? I was 19 when I met him and he looked about mid 30s. Being young and what I thought adventurous was. We went on a date and that's when I learned how bad I ducked up. He told me he wanted to have children. That's why we was dating girls in their early 20s. Understandable. Some people really do want to have children. But he already had children. Right at the beginning of the date. He was having a moment because his 14 year old daughter had a boyfriend. This is when I found out we was in his 40s. Not in his 30s and it was so awesome to meet his fellow friends his age who kept giving me strange looks, for good reason. I stupidly continued the date with him and we went for a drive. While dodging his groping hands and telling him no to all his sexual requests. I learned he had a son who is in college. Cool. He tells me that he thinks his son is older than me. I ask him how old his son is. His son is 21. I told him that I am younger than his son. His response? That's so hot. I noped out as fast as I could and never spoke to him again but I still knew he was trying to find other girls to date through word of mouth. So creepy. Those people genuinely get off at the age difference because they have this idea they groom you into their little plaything but most young girls don't know better. He isn't the first guy I met who is really into that too and that's the saddest part. I know a family that adopted a girl. Aged in between the two biological boys. When the adopted girl turned 18-ish the father ended up together with the adopted girl. I have never got a chance to talk to the older biological boy. When this all happened high school was over and everyone moved on. Always wondered exactly how he felt about the whole situation. I'm a guy. 23. My dad is 64. Was 40 when I was born. And last year he married a woman who was 22 at the time. My parents weren't really together. Never got married. And split soon after I was born. My mom's black. And my dad's an Iranian who came to the US. In the 70s as a student and never left. Revolution in Iran meant he was stuck with no visa. My dad left school. Was pretty transient. Moved up and down the east coast. And eventually settled in New Jersey. Where I'm from. I didn't keep much contact with my dad. But I started talking to him again a few years ago. He didn't have much companionship. So eventually he went back to Iran. Met a woman who already had a kid and was divorced. Looking to make a better life for herself. So my dad married her. And she and her son came over just before the Trump ban. My dad talks pretty freely about his feelings toward his wife. And hers toward him. He'll say things like. Obviously she doesn't love me. She just used me to come to the US. Both my dad's wife and her son have had a hard time learning English. The wife had a mental breakdown last year. And checked herself into a psych ward. Into which I'd also checked myself a year prior for depression and attempting suicide. My dad's pretty poor and lives in a mostly ghetto neighborhood with not much to do. It sure seems like my stepmother is isolated. And until she learns English she's pretty much at my dad's house all day long. Another fun fact. My mom's mom is younger than my dad. My mom's mom had my mom at 17. When my dad was already 19. 
I had a stepmom 6 mo older than me when I was 25-26. When coordinating my little brother's HS graduation party she acted like she could boss me around. Shut that sheet down right quick. I have a friend who is barely 20. And dating a 46 year old man. He has two sons. Age 20 and 23. They didn't take the news of him dating a girl younger than them well. And have apparently cut off complete contact with him now things have gotten serious. His ex-wife thinks it's hilarious. They all think he's having a midlife crisis and think she's a gold digger. I kinda have to agree with them. I'm 34 and my 53 year mom married a guy she met in my younger sister's friend group who is around 4 years younger than me, roughly 20 year age gap. My sister was really pissed about it for a while. But I never really cared. It's my mom's fourth marriage and she has had a very long struggle with mental health issues and I just want her to be happy. The guy is really nerdy and they had a video game themed wedding at the local Elks Lodge. Now they live in an RV with two cats on just his income because she has been unable to get a job since 2009. I worry about my mom but for now it seems to be working okay. I used to work with a guy, Chris, whose best friend, David, was also his stepdad. Basically, when they were in school, David used to go to Chris' house a lot and hang out. And somewhere along the line, David started going over just to see Chris' mum. Eventually, they started actually seeing each other. And eventually got married. I think David was like a year or two younger than Chris. What's strange to me is that Chris never moved out. He just kept living there with his best friend and mum. I never noticed any signs that they found it weird at all. They still came to work together and hung out like friends. It was a weird setup.